Okay, so I'm going to show you my little setup now. It's not that hard to build one of these guys. Um, so there you go. Uh, all it is is a horse stall mat. People put them in horse trailers and uh, corrals, stables, stuff like that. Um, and it, it just makes for easy, quick cleaning, really. Um, but they're built out of a like three quarter inch rubber, just straight rubber. Oh, good stuff. Um, after taxes, it's about 50 bucks. Now this is a six foot long, it's four feet tall. And there's lots of videos on YouTube of how to, uh, how to build these. But I've yet to find a YouTube video that shows you if it stops narrow or not. So that's what I'm going to do today. But first, let me show you how I built it. So you just got to work off your dimensions. It's, you know, six foot by four foot. So this one right here, let me get behind you. This one across is six feet. Okay. This one down, four feet. Okay. Um, I kind of cut these. Let me show you. Kind of cut these at a little bit of an angle. That way they slide across the grass easier. Because this sucker is heavy. It is heavy. It's hard to move. Um, the bottom piece across, uh, six feet. Okay. It's not that hard. The bottom pieces are four feet long with the angle cuts, make them easier to slide. And then I just braced it right there. I braced both sides, but I think you could get away with just the one. I had extra lumber from the renovations at the new house, so I just added a couple. Uh, another little brace right here. It's pretty ouch. <laughs> uh, I didn't have any short screws, so I've got screws sticking out over the place. So I'll have to replace these with some shorter ones. But for now, they'll work. So now you guys have seen it. Let's see if it'll stop an arrow. What we have here is my 2018 Hoyt Hyperforce. Um, it's cranked all the way. We're shooting 70 pounds. 60 to 70 pounds right there as you can see 60 70 uh it's a 27 right now it's at a 27 inch draw length um yeah it's shooting bullet holes it shoots great it's tuned out to 100 yards it's a sweet setup i love it um okay what we're shooting is the gold tip hunter xt 340 spine um blazer veins and i got a couple different field tips we're going to try out um, I really don't think broadhead is going to make a difference. If anything, a broadhead is going to slow down faster because there's more surface area, because there's more cutting area. So obviously this mat is just going to slow it down. Okay. But let's find out if these backstops everybody's building are worth it. Okay. Um, I think we'll start at 20 and we'll get closer. I shoot a thumb button style release. Some stand. I love it. So let's give it a try. 70 pounds, 27 inch draw length. Um, let's see if it stops it. Woo! Let's have a look. Wow. Sweet, Dad. So there you have it, guys. It went in. Oh, dang! I, you know, I dare say about halfway, guys. It went in about halfway. Um. All right, come here, squirrel. Hold it right here. It went in about halfway. And. It's actually not too bad to pull out. So, these are the field tips I like to shoot. Um, they're the right diameter for my arrow, and I just like them because they're easier to pull. But I do have some sharper ones. Um, they're both 100 grain. They're both 100 grain. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit deeper penetration with this one right here. Still got the sharp one on. Right now we're at three yards, or we're about a yard. We're about three feet away. Looks pretty good. So yeah, guys, I'd say it is a, 
big success. I'm very impressed with these these horse stall mats on stopping arrows. Um, they're uh, yeah, they're pretty neat. Um, I recommend it. It's, I mean, the mat is 50 bucks, and then you can almost get away with some spare lumber everybody's got laying around their house. So yeah, definitely uh, worth it. If you, especially if you live in a neighborhood. I got neighbors behind me, across the street. Roads right there. I'm on a corner lot and the neighbors behind me, so it might make them feel a little bit better if you had something like this. Um, when I was a kid, you know, it was straw bales, but these days bows are so fast and that they blow through straw bales pretty easy, so. Yeah, it's definitely worth the money. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we did, um, I wanna give a shout out. Uh, uh, Sarah Henry bought uh, a shirt and some decals from us, so we appreciate that. I said I'd give a shout out to whoever I remember to give people shout outs if they purchased something on our website and gave us uh, support. So thank you for that, uh, Sarah, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching.